Is this a step in the right direction for Europe? Denmark is preparing to introduce legislation that would ban the desecration of any holy book within its borders. Copenhagen has been forced to address its image after a series of provocative Islamophobic acts, including the desecration and burning of the Quran. Similar stunts have also occurred in other parts of Europe, such as Sweden. These incidents have sparked protests in Muslim countries as well as mounting condemnations from major Muslim governments around the world, including right here in Qatar. However, governments in Europe have drawn scrutiny for repeatedly allowing the incidents to happen and often invoke legal justifications such as freedom of speech and individual rights. This has prompted widespread criticism due to the perceived double standards when it comes to condemning religion targeted hate crimes. Qatar's Minister of Safe for International Cooperation, Lulu Al Khatar, addressed the lack of accountability when it comes to hate speech targeted at religious groups, particularly Muslims. <laughs> تجاه تسهيل بل وتمكين تكرار هذه الحوادث بدعاوى قانونية متصلة بخطاب الحريات وحقوق الأفراد فإننا نقف حائرين ومتعجبين حيث تراكمت الشواهد لدى القاصي والداني أن هذا المعيار ليس إلا معيارا انتقائيا فجل هذه الدول تمنع منعا باتا تشريعا أو عرفا الخطاب والأفعال المعادية للسامية على سبيل المثال للحصر Earlier this year, European states went as far as voting against a key UN resolution that condemned the burning of the Quran as a religious hate act. And now, with such provocative stunts posing a risk to its international relations, authorities in Denmark have mobilized in an attempt to strike a balance between freedom of expression and the need to promote mutual understanding and respect among diverse communities. The planned law will make improper treatment of the Quran or Bible a criminal offense punishable by a fine and jail sentence of up to two years.